Hey guys, are you here? So today I'm gonna do something a little different again. I'm gonna go over a loss and then a win and kind of what I think I did wrong during the loss or could have done better and then go into the win where we actually kind of do that and uh, end up winning this matchup versus the same people. Um, so here I have a game of Windwalker Mage versus some Rogue Mage um, Paladin and I'm playing with a Priest. These are the games from the other day where we weren't playing with Skype. Um, and we're having a lot of fun games versus these guys, so I'll go over uh, two quick games. So, we got a sheep on the pally, and we're going for big burst on the mage, and this game is starting off very, very well. I get a re-sheep on the paladin, the rogue got mind controlled, and we get the ice block um, from the mage right away. So it just seemed, uh, you know, overall pretty awesome. Get another big glacial spike onto him. He does use temp shield um, on that glacial spike, which is really good by him. I'm sh just sheeping the rogue to keep up some control, going for a couple fake casts here, but I, I do get stunned. It's a nice grip there from my priest. Um, the rogue is just still trying to shut me down and control me. We want to set up on this mage again, uh, now that he has no ice block, but it's uh, difficult to get a sheep on the pala. Um, I go ahead and temp shield because I see my priest is in a full sheep. Um, the temp shield gets stolen. There's a big glacial spike on me, but it does get bell silenced, which is really nice. So we're just controlling here. I'm just building up frostbolt um, damage. Use a frostbolt ice nova, frostbolt pet nova. I'm sheeping the mage because it, he isn't going to die, and I want to just basically turtle or reset until our next setup. So that's something really important that you guys can do, is just spam sheep things um, when you guys are kind of waiting for your next setup. You don't want to be taking damage. Our monk does karma. I think it's more of an offensive karma. That temp shield does come out. Really nice temp shield. Keeps him alive there, and the bop uh, comes out as well. I get a full sheep on the paladin, and we do force bubbles. Now they have no bubble and no ice block, and the pally goes into a fear. And we still have a lot of our cooldowns. So... I think, like, I'm thinking pretty much in this game that we're looking pretty solid and the game should be over soon, but uh, we'll, we'll see where we go wrong here in a second. Um, I, I get a half sheep on the pally. I should have been full, but I waited. I didn't wait long enough. I messed up my uh, DRs, so that's not very good. They're going on my monk very, very hard right now. I'm just getting um, Ebon Bolts, and I decide to actually poly the rogue. <laughs> poly the rogue actually sits. I do get counterspelled on my resheep when he gets dispelled, and I'm taking a lot of damage there. My priest is in a full sheep, so I do um, have to ice block. Now they're switching the pressure right onto my monk, so I can't stay in this block for too long because he's now getting lower than I am. Uh, so I come out of the block. I'm trying to get some CC here in a sec. I do blink CS. I don't know if I actually landed that or not. I pop ice form, trying to go for some big damage. I get a full sheep on the rouge. Switch it to the pally, uh, full sheep that pallet in there, and now we're getting a uh, good amount of damage off to the mage. So I, sh I thought it was going to be over here too, but uh, he gets another sack. So the ultimate sacrifice from that paladin uh, basically makes the mage immune to damage, and all the damage is transferred to the paladin. So the pally just heals himself instead. Um, so the mage is going to be fine. They're so switching the pressure back onto me. I use a temp shield there, probably not the not probably not the best temp shield. If I would have temp shield that instead, I would have been almost at full life right now. So I'm getting pretty low, and we get another sheep on the pally, but we can't make any offensive pressure come out of it. So that's like the big mistake, getting offense, you know, wasting my sheep DR without this offensive pressure. So here I have one blink, I am playing Prismatic Cloak, so if the mage decides to Glacial Spike, I can blink it. You know, if he decides to Big Shatter me, I can blink it. Um, trying to get more damage onto the mage, he does pop his Ice Forms, where he, you know, beautiful grip there to the pillar by my priest. I'm sheeping the rogue because I'm a little scared right now. Uh, we get a leg sweep onto the mage, and once again, our offensive and uh, pressure in our uh, CC doesn't line up. He used his leg sweep on the mage, but I had no CC on the pally. And here, it looks like I go down. So I did have another blink available. If I would have blinked that shatter combo, I might have been able to live. Um, but it's really just that synchronization of getting the sheep and then bursting the mage. Getting the sheep, bursting the mage. And at the same time, when we're not doing that, I need to be staying with my priest and blink or temp shield or counter spell or belf silence or something to stop the mage every single time he's trying to burst me so that I don't actually get uh, bursted too hard from this mage. So I go ahead and counter spell him in arcane so he can't lock me and I go ahead and sheep the mage. Uh, mage gets adaptation. Um, I'm not sure why he's playing adaptation but he is. Um, I sheep the pally full and we're gonna get a huge opener here on the mage. He does temp shield, so does a beautiful temp shield by him. So bad opener from us by the way, like we should have uh, made it so we couldn't temp shield. Uh, getting that temp shield off basically means he gets that full heal, and we could have gotten a block there instead if we uh, lined up our stuns better so we couldn't get that temp shield. I actually got kicked in frost there, but I did have that uh, big temp shield heal. Um, so it's kind of just the battle of temp shields right now. Um, I'm sheeping the rogue, like I said, in this downtime. No reason to be taking damage from the rogue. Um, 
building up some more icicles waiting for this next burst i do want to push in the sheep the pally now that it's off dr i get that full sheep on the pally where uh, the mage is doing a lot of damage to me i get to one percent and barely get that ice block off he has a uh, ice block as well so we we just got like a cross ice block right there that was crazy uh come out of the block the pally gets uh put into a fear but he does the mage gets that sacrifice so he's going to be completely fine um the rogue does shrink it during that time as well so that's something we do want to keep in mind all right rogue has no trinket we could make a swap he's going to sit cc etc so I'm just playing next to my priest. I don't want to die this game. So this game I'm staying very close to my priest. If they do CC him, it has a chance to break from the unstable magic. Um, I'm getting put into a lot of uh, stuns from this rogue. So I just decided to sheep him off me. The rogue gets dispelled, immediately step kicks me. I'm trying to stay with my priest. Um, you know, so this ice nova and stuff keeps him out of CC. All of this AOE keeps him out of CC. I go ahead and blink some damage onto the mage. Um, Pally does bubble that full sheep. And now I just switch my focus back to the rogue and start sheeping the rogue again. So as you can see, my focus switches between the rogue and the pally. When I'm going offensive, I have my pally on the, on the pally on the focus because I want to CC him. When I'm playing more defensive, I, I will focus maybe the rogue or the mage if I'm on the rogue, um, so I can kind of see what how much damage I'm going to take. Or it's it's much easier to focus sheep the rogue when he's on my focus. Um, right here, the rogue gets full feared. I ice lands the rogue, so he doesn't get a restealth. I come back over to here to the mage. Um, I orb the pally just to slow him, gets a undispellable slow onto the pally when you orb him or any slow onto him. I really want to get a sheep on the pally, feels like next CC we can win. I get a full sheep on the pally, I steal the mage's ice form which is nice, and I get a huge frost bolt into pet nova and huge frost bolt into ice nova. So there it is guys, win and then a loss just by changing up uh, my, my positioning a little bit and by changing up... Um, you know, you get the CC and then you go for the stuns and then boom, you one shot instead of, you know, wasting stuns or wasting CC, we did it in line. So I hope that game uh, or those two games help you try to delineate between, you know, why why we lost and why we won. I uh, hope you guys like this format. Give it a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next time. Peace out.